Hey guys, this is Fishwix here, and today I'm here with a Lego Creator set called the Pet Shop. This is set number 10218, and it comes with 2,032 pieces, and it retails for about $150. Um, so first off, we're gonna start with the mini figures themselves on this side. So let's go ahead and go down. So as you can see, we have on the left side of the plate, we have a, I think his, he's the pet shop owner. He has uh, red hair, traditional smiley face. For the record, I am not gonna go over every single face on the minifigures, because they are all the same. He has a green torso with a blue undershirt and a, uh, just, a, I think a blue tie, yeah, blue tie. So it's kind of like a v-neck sweater. And then he has just gray pants. Um, the girl, she has a brown hair piece, it's showing up as black on the camera. And then she has a hoodie piece with a blue front pocket and a green undershirt. And she has purple pants, probably showing up as dark blue. On the back of these two, we have a little printing on this guy. Um, it kind of just shows the stitching of it. And then there is printing on the back of her. Let me just take a hair piece off real quick. That is what her printing looks like on the back. Take her hair back on and move over to the next two. So the next two are the, I would assume, the mom and the child and the painter who is painting the town mode. So first we're gonna start with the mom. So she is uh, a brown hair piece. It's kind of like a light brown. And she has this uh, nice torso with like gold printing on the front. I really like this torso. It's probably one of my favorite female torsos that are around. But as you can see, there's like little dress kind of formation things on the side. It's, made, it's a little hard to see here. But then she has maroon pants, maroon sleeves, and that's it for her on the front. The painter has a very cool paint roller, and so it will focus better on him. I will take that out of the stand. So that is what the painter looks like. He has a white baseball cap, uh, blue overalls, with some overall printing on the front, and then on the back, he has just some more of that overall printing, and then on the back of her, it's kind of more of that dress printing on the back. Right, let me focus in. Good, good. All right, there you go. That is all the minifigures, so you only get four. Um, I wish they gave you maybe a little more for just a little more variety on the set. That would have been really cool, but I guess Lego is Lego, and they do what they want. Because while I'm zooming in on this, did you guys know that Lego is actually the most popular toy company um, ever and they also are the biggest tire factory on the planet. So first off, we are going to start on the exterior of the building. Woo! <laughs> My favorite part of this building on the exterior is, you guessed it, the brick built sign. This is awesome. It is blue and white and says pets. May not look like much, but it is a lot of fun. I love it. And right above that, you have your flowers. Yeah, I'm kidding. Uh, but then you have this blue and white awning, and then you have like uh, a bike out here. This is, I guess, the little girl's bike. I forgot to show this. This is a minifigure accessory. I can move that to the side as well. Just traditional green bike, and woo, whoops, uh, woo, air biking. All right, so, and then on the front, you have your little um, ball. You have a ball for sale and two bones for the dogs. And then in the window, you can kind of see the two carrots. I think that is really cool. I'm just happy in general that they included that piece. Yeah, piece is, I'm sorry. It's really cool. Um, I, 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 I just can't, I love this set, it is so cool. But before I go on about the exterior, something you guys should know about the set. I don't know why they call this a modular building. They should be calling it modular building for, oops, for this reason. Because your, uh, your set will come with two modular buildings. They can split apart. So, I mean, I, I would say this has about a thousand pieces and this has about a thousand something pieces. But hey, it's all cool. It's really just cool. I mean, there's nothing else to it. I just love it. So now, we're gonna slide town home away. Bye bye, see you again later. And start with this exterior. Sorry that is so in frame. I don't really care about that. We're just gonna focus on this. So first off, down here, 
Let's get our lights to shine right in the walkway. Right there, um, here actually, maybe you can see what's, oh, I'm trying to do this to the best of my ability. Maybe under, there you go, uh, kind of. Kind of see in there, it's kind of hard to show you. Okay, light out of the way. All right, now light on top again. So, uh, yeah, and then you have a little mailbox back here with the letter in it, and what you can do with that is if I could ugh, get this out. This is another accessory. You get a couple of these, like right here. You can actually just close this up, and then slide, ugh, geez, I should not have done this. You can slide it, try and, ugh, no, okay. Work with me here, you guys. Work with me. Okay, now I'm gonna zoom. So now you can get in on that and you just stick it in. And you have mail in the mailbox. That's really cool. And I just like that. Um, that's mainly it for here. You got your traditional stairs. Uh, other than that, there's not really much to right here. I mean, you got a checkered tile pattern, your lamppost, only a lamppost on this side. And up here, uh, what I really like is let me actually take this roof off and bring it closer you have like really cool texturing along here and then that's kind of what the roof looks like and then that's really cool i just i just generally like that um i i think it looks great again i can't stress enough on how much i love this set now down to this floor um, I'm gonna actually just set this down so I can get a better view of it. Because our camera doesn't have the best uh, view quality at the, at the moment. So as you can see, we have a little like uh, texturing right here. It's really cool. These can move up and down. They're not supposed to do that. Then no glass in these windows whatsoever in any three of them. Um, up kind of, it's nice and textured. Kind of right here. Let me try and adjust this light again. Can't seem to do it, um, but it's textured right here. So that's it. And then you have your uh, un underused sand blue pieces, which are right here. I really like those. And then on the back, you have some window sills and just tan windows, and then a little slope here. And then what's this? Side. I'm going to go to the front right now and I'm going to move to the back kind of. So on the back you just, like I mentioned, you have those window sills on the top and then you put some more windows down here and then like I said, you also just have your general back door on those modular buildings. And then right here, I love this piece, it's a giant bucket, uh, you can take it off, it's by the mouse. And uh, actually, and there's a brush in it, probably to wash the pets. Empty crate back here. But what I like about the mouse is that there's actually a mouse hole right back here. If you can see it, I doubt you can. But there's a mouse hole right there, and you can actually stick it in. So that's really cool. And then you have a little crate back here. Um, just mainly it. I guess the side is absolutely terrible because you can really be covered up. Pull down to get access. And then on the back, you have your back door. 
for the interior of the pet shop. I really like it. Oh, and I actually forgot there's a checkout counter right here. And this has a, like, it's an old style checkout register with the lever in your little counter to check out at. And then there's actually a mailbox right On the bottom, you have a little flower garden, same right here, and then you use two ski pieces, which are located right here. Strangely enough, this door actually opens inwards, not outwards. I'm not a fan of inward opening doors, because they didn't even put a doorknob to help you close it right here. Oops, that just bugs me in general. Um, so yeah, that's that side. This is a bad looking side, except for right here, I like this little patio with the trans glass windows. Here. And on the wall, you have a strip of paint, which you can actually 
not the one from series 9, but you can oops, kind, kind of place him painting that wall, like so. I like that. I, I just, I think it's cool. Um, and then you have your paint can, which is right here. It's a white colored paint. And then uh, what you could do is you could get like a different colored flat and then um, just use that to kind of imitate a different color paint. So it's, you can be creative. And then put like a little bit of paint here. Oh, and like the video and subscribe.